Hey folks, Daily Lance Blog for August the 24th, 2019. Suicide. I said it 10 times yesterday. Uh, probably if you added the context of before and after those 10 times, it was probably more like 15 or 20. And I've been thinking a lot about it and I watch uh, for reactions. I hear what people say. You know, I read about it all the time because it, it really frustrates me um, more than anything else in mental health that we haven't been able to do anything about, uh, about suicides. That in Canada, for instance, there's 4,000 a year, it seems like, every year, plus or minus 100. And in the United States, with 10 times the population, it's exactly what you would expect it to be, and that would be 40,000. So, so how, how, do, how do we do something about that? And one of the things that I realize is the gap between those that have suicidal thoughts and those that don't, and those that don't who know somebody who has those thoughts. The gap is as wide as it ever was. The lack of understanding is exactly what it always has been. It's simply impossible for somebody with a healthy brain to understand why someone would take their own life. And until we bridge that gap, until there's an understanding, or at least a part of an understanding, there will continue to be this barrier uh, between two people uh, who care about each other, um, but have nothing in common when it comes to the word suicide. This person has these thoughts and this person wants to help but has no clue what to do because he or she has no idea what it's about. And you know, one of the things that makes it so hard is that we have a drive to exist. We have um, this um, unfailing desire to maintain our lives and continue our lives. And when you go to the doctor and you hear, oh my gosh, you know, uh, your blood test came back, I want to explore more, or you know, you have this lump in your neck, it's like, oh my gosh, please, you know, don't be something terrible. Please let me be okay. I want to survive so badly. And when you hear about someone who thinks about suicide, attempts suicide, or somebody who takes their life, it, it's, it's totally foreign to you because you would do anything to live. So I think the goal has to be sharing what that thought means, what that thought is, and somehow bringing these two people together. And then there's the whole other thing. When somebody takes their life, they leave so much pain behind that there is an automatic anger that how could you do this to me? Because now my life has changed forever. Now I will never be able to lie down in bed peacefully and think to myself, okay, life is, life is good. And it's that kind of pain, I believe, that makes people, makes people think that somehow suicide is a selfish choice. There's so much to talk about. And you know what? I promise you that we will do our best to get the word out there. Um, you know, in a tiny bit, like, hey, I'm not sitting here deluding myself saying I'm going to change the way the world views suicide. But I believe that with the resources that we have, with the desire that we have to change, with people like you who will share their experiences, that we can make a difference. Sicknowweek.com, 24 hours a day, 364 days a year. We're here clearly because we need to be.